Hi everybody. Um, in this video, we're going to be using LT Spice to recreate the circuit shown here on this circuit diagram. So what we have here is an RL series circuit. That's because we have a resistor and inductor capacitor connected in series, and it'll be connected to an AC supply. And what we're going to observe in this is that for a given supply frequency, so we're actually going to have our supply frequency go from zero up to a thousand hertz in steps of a hundred hertz. Well, sorry, this is what we would have done in class, but we'll be able to do this for a much greater range in LT spikes. But what we're going to observe is that at this particular frequency, the current, the magnitude of this current is going to become um, a maximum value for the for a given set of values here for a given resistance, inductance, and capacitance. So I'm going to demonstrate how to recreate this in LT Spice. So I'll open LT Spice on my own device. So once you have LT Spice open and we hit Control N, we'll start up the new program. So as I described already, LT Spice is used to recreate and simulate electrical circuits. So we need to recreate the circuit shown here on the left. And we can do that with LT Spice. So just have to remind myself what the component button is. Components are F2, so that'll save a bit of messing. So if we press F2, we'll, we'll be able to select our different components that we use here. The first thing we need is a voltage source. So if I take voltage into the search bar, we can place our voltage source down first. Then hit the key OR for resistor. That'll be our resistor in this circuit. L for an inductor. And C for a capacitor. Now the only thing we're missing on this circuit is we need to join up from our source through our load using a wire. So if we come in here, you'll see that we can get our wire here or we can press F3 for that. So I'm going to press F3. It's good practice to get used to using hotkeys. Let's go delete this. So F3 to draw a wire. You're given this cursor. You click and click every time you want to have a corner. So that's that part of the circuit lined up. We'll complete the circuit down here. Now I know this looks the same as what we have on the left here, but we're missing one thing that we need to have in LT Spice, and we have to place a ground connection. Use the letter G to get our ground connection. I'm going to attach my ground connection down here. So at this point, we have the circuit built. Now we need to define a couple of values for our components. So if we right click our components, we can do that. For our resistor, we can put in a resistance of 50. That matches up with our 50 ohms. For our Inductance will have 45 millihenries. So LT Spice accepts a couple of different commands for the commonly used uh, suffixes and prefixes. So 45M for milli. If I right click the capacitor, that's 1.36U for micro. And we can, while we're here, if we right click our voltage source, 
by standard, as soon as we're going to use a DC voltage, but we're working with AC circuits here. So we need to go to advanced. And you can define a number of different functions for the voltage source. But the one we need to focus on here on the right is our small signal AC analysis. So all we need to define here is a voltage value, and I'm going to put in 230 to match with our voltage value here. We can click OK. So what we've done here at this point is we've created our circuit to find the values. And now we need to simulate our circuit. And the type of simulation we're going to do is an AC analysis. Now you'll see there's this running man symbol here. This is to run our simulation. And we click that and the first time you run it, you're given the options for the type of analysis you're going to do and then whatever parameters you need to pass into the analysis. So like I said, for this one, we're just doing an AC analysis. So we need to define a couple of different points here. First of all, in our type of sweep, we'll do a linear AC analysis. Our start frequency is 100 hertz. Our end frequency is 1000 hertz. And We'll do 100 points in between. So when you're doing this by hand, it takes a lot more time to carry out this kind of analysis, but with a computer, we can do it much faster. Now, the second you hit OK, the simulation has actually been carried out at this point. And you're presented with two parts. The first one is the circuit is down the bottom here. At the top is a tool that is going to plot out different parts of our circuits, voltages or currents. So you'll see as I hover over the circuit, I'm presented with a testing probe, which you can use to measure voltages, or an ammeter, which can tell us the current going through different components in the circuit. So what we're interested in is the current. Now it's a series circuit, so it's the same current in every component. But I'll click, you'll see as it goes, turns into an ammeter area, I'll click the ammeter on the resistor and we'll have a look at our current. And the graph might look slightly confusing at first because of some additional information. But we're actually given a magnitude response and a phase response. So all we're interested in is the magnitude response for this. So we can remove the phase response at the right here. If we right click it and go don't clash phase. Makes it a bit neater looking. And then if we also right click the scale, because at the moment it's in dB, which is a ratio, we'll put it onto a linear scale. To plot it in terms of amps for us. So this is the plot you're looking to produce using LT Spice. And that is the frequency response. And as I said, the maximum is around 650 hertz or 0.64 kilohertz in this case. But the, more, the nice thing and the most useful thing about these simulation tools now is it's very easy to change the values of the components and rerun the simulation. For example, if I want to change the value of the resistance, I can right click it, put in, let's say 250 ohms and rerun the simulation. And you'll see we get this different result here. I'll put that back to 50 and rerun the simulation again. We can also change the value of the inductor and capacitor. So let's try one millihenry. See what this does. So what this has actually done is it shifted the point at the maximum current up off of our scale. We haven't gone up high enough. So let's just change that back to 45 milli. 
we run the simulation again, we'll bring it back down. Or if we change the value of our capacitance to 0 0.36 micro. Again, slightly shifted the position up off the graph, but the nice thing about these tools is it gives us a way to carry out these calculations very quickly compared to doing them by hand, although both are important and skills I have as an engineer. Okay, thank you for listening.